G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Chuck's Garage. We've got our very first Harley today, so uh, let's go get them and see what we've got for us. G'day guys, we've got Blair here from Adelaide Harley Davidson and he's brought in his bike and it is the very first Harley we've got on Chuck's Garage, plenty more to come, but uh, talk us through it mate, what have we got here? Mate, thanks for having me, uh, we've got a 2003 Softail Standard, so um, back in the day, you know, I guess there wasn't the options that there is now with big front wheels and all the stuff that we're seeing on the road, so this is a, a Roland Sands inspired bike, so we've got the Roland Sands panel kit um, on it, obviously uh, uh, some performance machine wheels, yep. oversized brake rotors, big calipers, everything you wanted out of a bike back in the day. But certainly still think it looks the part out on the road. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, I mean, cool. I've never seen those wheels before. They are wild. And I mean, the whole bike is pretty amazing. I'll come around here and have a look. Normally a bit different in a car. I'll normally just jump in the car, but I might just sit on it. <sighs> is it... um? Got alarm and everything as well or no 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 alarms, <laughs> no alarms. carburetor carburetor no wow EFI. no that's cool far out yeah, it looks a whole lot smaller uh, once you're sitting on it <laughs> <laughs> oh unfortunately i do that to like a lot of things but this is very cool very different to like what you see sort of cruising around the streets in adelaide these days but timeless mate yeah, it is. It's something that, uh, look, I rode it to a motorbike show only three years ago and it still turns heads. So it's, it's nice to have something a bit different, like I say. I mean, today's looks are, are really based around big wide back tyres yeah, and, yeah. and big 26 inch fronts, which obviously at work we do a lot of uh, performance stuff and, and, and that sort of line of work. Yeah, so yeah. it's nice to have something like that. And I've, of course, a lot to keep, uh, keep all the bikes that we've built up over the years as a representation of who we used to be and yeah. and what we've morphed into. Yeah, absolutely. And Blair has this bike up on the wall in uh, in his new shop. Well, it's not that new anymore, yeah. but um, so we'll have to do a video down there and check out everything he's got down there as well. But this thing sits up on the wall with about seven other, bi seven other bikes. So yeah. you have to get down there and check it out. And, um, but talk us through what sort of cube and um, setup you've got here. So these things started life as an 88 cubic inch, so 1450cc, yep. and, uh, and look pretty mild again, because back in the day, not the options of the big grind cams yep. that we've got now. Um, so some Screaming Eagle camshafts in it, uh, HSR 42 Makuni, Daytona Twin Tech ignition system, um, yeah, some flowed heads and, and away we go. Yeah, okay. Very cool. And it sounds, sounds awesome, which you will hear in a minute, but um, yeah. It's, I mean, it's good for an old girl, you know, the tyres are um, at, at 12 years old now, so they're pretty hard. It was <laughs> an interesting ride down here. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's good. Oh, absolutely. Now, Blair's known for doing burnout, so before we get to do the burnout, are there any future plans with this bike or anything sort of going to change or do anything different to this? Or No, Matt, as, as you said, I think once they make it up the top there, they're yeah. done. Um, <laughs> Obviously, we've always got new stuff on the go and we're building new bikes constantly. So yeah. um, this one's uh, just going to get parked up, used every now and again for what it should be used for, a bit of fun. Yep. And, uh, and yeah, leave it for what it is. Oh, absolutely, mate. Well, it's a beautiful bike. I think um, we were talking that I might go for a little ride on this just down the street and see how I fit on it and um, mix it up a bit because I don't drive the cars that come in here, but may as well see if we can ride this one. If Flair lets me, of course. I think you definitely should. <laughs> absolutely. All right. Well, because I don't have the wall just yet, um, we're going to do that next time when Blair comes through and get all, uh, all the presents and stuff that I have for the guests that come on. So unfortunately, I don't have that for you now, mate, but um, we will get that going again once the space is all finished. And as you've seen in the previous video that I posted that there's a bit going on in here and it's a bit different, but all right, let's go, go do it. a burnout. Go for a ride. Go yeah. for a ride, burnout, whatever. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> 